So example four is solving a trigonometric equation using identities. So we're going to solve the equation sine theta cosine theta equals negative one fourth, where theta is between zero and two pi. So we need to make this sine theta cosine theta look like something we have seen before. And we know that two sine theta cosine theta is sine of two theta, okay? So what we need to do in order to get this to look like this is multiply by a factor of two. And I do that on both sides. So now I have two sine theta cosine theta equals negative one half. So I can replace that with sine of two theta. So sine of two theta equals negative one half. So this is a great start, okay? But remember that our argument here is two theta. So we need to find a general formula that gives the solutions to sine of two theta is negative one half over the interval from zero to two pi. So I know that sine, I'll write this over here, sine of theta is negative one half at two points on our unit circle. It's negative one half at 11 pi over six and at seven pi over six. But our argument is that we have two theta. So if I set each of those equal to two theta and solve for theta, I get 11 pi over 12 and I get seven pi over 12, okay? But 11 pi over 12, right, if we were in our unit circle, before I had uh, seven pi over six and 11 pi over six, they're somewhere over here. Now that I have pi 11 pi over 12 and seven pi over 12, they're over here in, you know, quadrant two, just kind of envisioning things, right? So that means because, you know, I essentially cut the period in half, they're gonna have, there will be four possible solutions. So let's write a general form. I have that theta, equals 11 pi over 12 plus, how often is this going to repeat? Well, sine repeats every uh, 2 pi, right? But it's going to occur again. So plus um, uh, pi over k, right? Because we had to pull out a factor of 2, right? Originally, it would have looked like 11 pi over 6, plus two pi over k, but then we divided everything by two to get here. So let's try that again. So if I had theta equals seven pi over six plus two pi over k, that's how often I would get a whole bunch of thetas over and over and over again, right? Over and over and over again, equal uh, to sine of negative one half. Now to get from seven pi over six to seven pi over 12, I need to go ahead and divide everything by two or pull out a factor of two, right? Move that to the other side, essentially. So we would get uh, theta equals seven pi over six plus pi over k. So that's our general form to finding this. I already have two solutions. I have 11 pi over 12 and seven pi over, sorry, that's supposed to be a 12. But there's gonna be another one. If I take theta equals 11 pi over 12 plus pi, that's gonna give me 23 pi over 12, which is still less than two pi, right? We just wanna be less than two pi. So now I have 23 pi over 12. And if I take seven pi over 12 plus pi, that's gonna give me 19 pi over 12. 
And if I was to add another pi to either of those, I'd be greater than two pi, so we don't need to find any more. But those are our four possible solutions. Those are our four solutions.